it's Taz and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be healthy recipes that I like to eat when I'm trying to lose weight or I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. This is gonna be like a 24 hour sort of video where I'm gonna have dinner tonight and then food tomorrow and probably end at dinner tomorrow. Show you a few recipes, snacks, and foods that I like to eat. I promise you guys in the last video that I would show you guys and I've been getting a lot of comments saying we're the recipes girl so I got you. Also, if you guys want to follow my socials they'll be linked below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to be notified I think I'm saying the right things but I don't know anyways without further ado let's get right on into the video so the first recipe I'm gonna share with you guys is this delicious egg sandwich this is my first time I've ever made something like this and I'm telling y'all it was delicious. So all you need are two eggs. You can boil these yourself, obviously, but I just had these on hand. Um, and then you're gonna squeeze in some lemon juice. So I used half a lemon juice, half a lemon juice, half a lemon, <laughs> the juice, half a lemon, some mayo, some mustard, some pepper, and some salt. And you can just eyeball this, literally whatever you want. Um, but then I also did use some buffalo chicken seasoning. You can get this from literally any grocery store, any convenience store. I think this made a huge difference. It was so delicious. And then I just matched it up with a fork. Um, and since I was taking this to work the next morning, this was my breakfast for the next morning, I just put it in a little container container with some lettuce, tomato, um, and then I added in my delicious egg mixture. And guys, this is so good for you to take to lunch the next day. It tasted so fresh and so amazing, and I 10 out of 10 recommend this. I also went ahead and chop, chopped up some scallions, um, green onions, just put them on top, and then everything bagel seasoning for the win. I'm an addict. Look how good this looks. And it tasted so much better than it looked, which is insane. And then I went ahead and used this multigrain bread. Um, it's about 120 calories per piece. And so I just took it and I cut it in half and I put it in a Ziploc bag. Here is the next recipe. It is a toasty grilled everything cheese sandwich. So, so, so good. And you can use anything that you have at home. You don't have to follow this recipe, but you can definitely take some inspiration from this recipe and use whatever you guys have. So I went in with this President's Choice Not So Secret Sauce. Um, and then I went ahead and used some salami I just had left over from a charcuterie board. Um, but you can use any meat or you don't have to use any meat at all. It's completely up to you, whatever you have in your fridge. Tomatoes, some sweet onions, and some green onions. And then of course, y'all know I went in with my pepper. I have a pepper problem, a PP if you will. Stop. And then of course avocado. Avocado just makes things creamy and delicious. And if you're on a strict, strict diet, you can skip this step, but I did add cheese because this kind of helps it stick together. Um, you can add a little bit less than this if you'd like, or you can just use vegan cheese, whatever you guys want. And then of course we gotta grill this bad boy up and I use some cooking spray. Just a few spritz of this helps you kind of control the oil that you're putting in your food. Um, and then I flipped it. Look at that. Look at that. I'll cry. That's the noise you wanna hear when you are scratching your grilled cheese, guys. <laughs> so then I went ahead and cut it in half. This part always scares me because I'm like, oh, I don't want everything to fall out. But yeah, just use back and forth motions with a big, sharp knife. I love this recipe because you can add things, take things out, do whatever you want, completely customize it and use everything in your fridge. So I 10 out of 10 recommend this delicious toasty. Next, I'm gonna be making some Alfredo noodles. This is delicious, and the secret to this is these noodles are only 15 calories versus traditionally noodles, about this quantity of noodles would be about 300 calories. So you're saving a major amount of calories. So the reason they're so little is because they are actually shirataki noodles made with tofu. Um, and shirataki is a yam sort of flour. You guys can look it up. It's really, really low cal. It's actually called the magic noodle. So the way to prepare it is to completely wash it with cold water, um, like 100% wash it because it does have a little bit of a smell to it. And you wanna make sure that's removed. If you make 
make it the way I'm making it, you will love it. Um, and then boil it with some lemon. Make sure you put the lemon in there because you want to take out that flavor that already exists. And then I'm going in with an Alfredo sauce. And this one is only 45 calories for half a cup. And I'm going to be using half a cup for this recipe, a little bit more. Um, but usually it's about like 150 calories for half a cup. So check your nutritional facts on the back before you purchase. Um, and then I, after I boil my noodles, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a pan and just completely make sure all the water and moisture is out. And yeah, I just went in, in another pan and put in my veggies, zucchini, broccoli, carrots, corn. Of course, you can use whatever you want. Um, I just love these sort of vegetables in my Alfredo. And then I went in with some fresh garlic, as you can see here. lemon juice on everything because it just enhances all the flavors and then I went ahead and added the noodles into my veggies and now I'm gonna go ahead and add more pepper because I have a pepper problem some everything bagel seasoning to my dish and there goes the Alfredo um, delicious so I added this to a nice little bowl and this was a lot of food guys so all because there's not a lot of calories doesn't mean you can't eat a lot it's called volume eating and I literally am obsessed with it so I also added a little bit more Alfredo to the top some chili flakes and some bacon bits oh my god this is delicious so if you try this let me know what you guys think these noodles were so delicious I couldn't believe it and then of course I had a little coke zero guilty pleasure I'm only human I would make this a hundred percent every day if I could and I hope you guys try this one Okay, so for a snack, I always like to make a charcuterie board. I, I'm i just obsessed with these things. They're just nice to munch on. These ones are pre-made from Walmart. Of course, you could easily make your own. Um, this one's just some turkey breast and some crackers and some cheese. I like having this kind of stuff because I don't want to feel like I'm not allowing myself to have the things that I want. As long as I'm still in a caloric deficit at the end of the day, I feel great. Um, and yeah, I just like to sit down. I'm having a little Alani energy drink here. Um, just literally love Alani, everything Alani, her fitness bars, so good. And then I just like to sit on the floor. Does anyone else like to sit on the floor and just eat their meals? I don't know why I like that. It's just so relaxing to me. But yeah, love making these. So many variations. You can add, take away, whatever you want. Okay, guys, the last and final meal we're going to be making is a taco bowl with sweet potatoes. Cut, peel, chop up your sweet potatoes. And I use this chopper that I got from Shein for like eight dollars not even um and it works so well i'm so surprised but yeah i just got the hang of it and look at me go chopping up them sweet potatoes so you're gonna do that add them to your bowl and then go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil and honestly you can add whatever seasoning you want i use black pepper salt some chili flakes um, and then I also added some of that buffalo chicken seasoning as well. Um, and then I just tossed it up. And what you can do is pop this in a plate and put it in the microwave for like three to four minutes. And after you do that, put it in the air fryer so it's kind of already thoroughly cooked through. And then I'm going in and opening a can of kidney beans. You can use whatever beans you want, black beans, you can even use chickpeas. Literally the possibilities are endless. Washing these off and then checking on the sweet potatoes. I like to sort of check on them and toss the tray around a little bit so they cook evenly. Um, and then you're gonna need some limes, say hi to my brother, some jalapenos if you like the spice, a sweet onion, you can use an avocado. Oh my God, yes, use an avocado. And this matched my nails, so I was like living and dying. Um, some cheese, this is some Baby Bell light cheese. Of course, you can use whatever you want. And some tomatoes. Valentina sauce, my favorite sauce ever. Um, and then some lettuce from my garden and some parsley as well for my garden. And my brother made some rice on the side, which I wasn't originally gonna use rice, I was just gonna do it on lettuce, but I added a little bit of rice as well. So here I'm just cutting up the green onions for the top and cutting up my sweet onion. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys my onion cutting skills, to be honest, so I left this whole part in. <laughs> and then rolling up my lime to release the juices and cutting it in half, how beautiful is that lime? There goes my avocado, sliced in half by itself apparently, and some jalapenos, slicing these, the seeds 
look so strange, but literally I love jalapenos. And then my lettuce. And now I'm gonna start assembling my bowl. So I put in my lettuce and my little heart-shaped bowl. So cute. Got this from the dollar store for like $4, guys. Um, and then, let uh, what did I just say? Lettuce, tomato. Tomato, avocado, I used half for myself. My brother used half for his bowl. And then the sweet potatoes are ready, so I just put them right on top. How good do those look? Like, how good does that look? So good. And then some sweet onion right on top of there. Went in with my jalapenos. And then I went in with my kidney beans. Didn't do anything special, just washed these. And some cilantro and parsley on top. Did I say parsley before? It is cilantro, my bad. So I wanted to make this look pretty for you guys, but then I realized I forgot to put in the rice. So then I just transferred this whole thing into a IG versus reality situation. Added in the rice, added, added in the Valentina sauce, added in my little piece of cheese and some lime juice, a little lime wedge on the side. And this was my dinner the next night. It was literally so delicious. Some sour cream would go so well on this, but I didn't have any, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All these meals that I made were so delicious and so amazing. If you guys want a part two, let me know. I'd be more than happy to make one and make sure you subscribe, like, and check out my socials down below. I love you guys, bye.